So in this video, we will be talking about one more AWS service called as Serverless Application Model or SAM. So SAM is an extension of AWS Cloud Formation. Sorry, again, sorry. So SAM is an extension of AWS Cloud Formation with simpler syntax for configuring serverless applications such as uh, for for creating resources like Lambda function, functions, triggering uh, through uh, APIs by creating APIs with code only by uh, creating DynamoDB tables. So we can all do so with less complex or I say simpler uh, format of, uh, than CloudFormation. This is for serverless application as I've told you. Let me give you an example of how it looks with the sample application I have. So it looks this easy. So this this template is basically creating a function and uh, trig, trig, and creating an API and trig, uh, API that API is triggering this function. So all that is happening with this line of code only. So it is obviously uh, simpler than uh, cloud formation. So let's jump on to what all we need and how do we create it. So uh, two things we need for for creating such templates. Uh, uh, first is transform and resources what all resources we need transform reflects that this template is for serverless application model that is sam and uh, resources this is also required uh, these these templates are stored in yml file so the extension is waml yml then coming on to this section that what all we need for creating sam templates so uh, we need sam uh, cli to be installed on our system so i you can go on google and you would reach to this page and from here you can search on how to install it so i have already installed it in my system so how can i check that i what i did i ran these two commands and i got the sam installed on my system so how do i check if sam is installed on my system or not so i'll go and so it is showing me that the SAM CLI version is 1.0.0. So it is installed. So uh, going to the next step in this demo, we are going to create. Uh, sorry. So in this demo, we are going to create a Lambda function uh, with SAM commands uh, and by uh, Lambda function. And then we will create an API and then the API will trigger that Lambda function. Uh, during this process, we will also see how to use and what all commands are there in CLI and how to use those commands. So starting the demo without wasting any time. So um, there's one command called as sam init, which is very easy command. Let me show you what it does. It basically creates all the stack uh, for us by by asking some uh, uh, simple, simple questions like what uh, do you want quick start templates? So yes, I want quick start templates. What uh, language I would be running on my template on? Uh, so I'll be using Python 3.6. So I'll go with 9. So the name of my SAM app, it would be SAM demo. So it is actually cloning this repo for creating my demo app or we can go directly and check out the code from here, this location. So it has created an uh, uh, a app for me, if I can go. Okay, template section. So, sorry, it is asking me which template I want. I will go with the Hello World template so to keep this the more simple. So it has created an app for us, so it is app which we can go and use it but i just want to want you guys to see how we create it so i'll be using the code from here and we'll be creating an app from scratch so let's do that clear everything so i'll be creating a directory sam lambda demo it is done you can see it is done i'll create source directly for keeping my uh, lambda function source code i'll create i'll go on to my this directory and i'll create a template file where i'll keep my sorry i'll go to sam lambda demo and 
touch template.vinyl create a template file so i have created a template file so in this template file i'll copy the code from here and basically this template file is telling uh, all about my resources as in what all resources i want so i'll go on and paste it in my scratch app, the app i'm creating from scratch i don't need this information i do not need this information for demo if you guys want to know what all these things are output which i deleted this resource uh, you guys can check out the cloud formation demo video so here, there it, i have specified what all we need I and mean, what uh, these resources and what uh, output and what all this syntax uh, represents so uh, that's it we have transform required which is telling that this is a sam app template we have aws template format uh, version this is telling us that this is uh, for cloud formation stack and then uh, the sorry yes this tells this particular type tells what type of resource i'm going to have in my template so this is telling about uh, that i'm going to create or i'll have uh, lambda functions so if you guys see i have here written what if for defining lambda function we have to write type like this for defining for having a resource uh, for api gateway we have to write like this and we for having a resource like dynamo db table we have to write code like this so that's all and then this code uri tells about where my code for lambda function is going to be in so th this is source folder and then handle the name of the file and the name of the function for my lambda function so i have not created any file so i'll go to my inside let me inside okay i created the source folder outside so i'll create source folder here and touch app.python python py file inside source so i have done that i'll go and copy the code again from here to save some time so basically this code is doing what this code is uh, printing hello world uh, with status code 200 so that's it so handler would be same app the name of the function the name of the function and the handler uh, runtime python 3.6 and i'll remove it because for for creating a lambda function only for this demo we do not need that section we'll use it later so that's all we need okay move app i have created by so this is done so i'll go on and we'll we'll use the other methods for building my app uh, sam app so one more thing which I wanted to talk about is that uh, I created this sample app from sam init uh, command and it is returning me this readme file. If this readme file is very useful. If you guys uh, read it, it will clear a lot of uh, topics for you regarding sam. So it will also tell you about what all commands we have with sam and how can we use it and what all resources you can uh, use for future reading about sam. So from this only, <coughs> um we for now coming on to we have created template file we have created the function which we want to run as lambda now <clears throat> we will simply go on and run the commands so i have written some commands so uh, what it does Lam sam basically pushes the the template so i say the um, the package we create to s3 and from s3 it Cloud formation, uh, cloud formation. I mean, from S3 we deploy the code to cloud formation stack. So that's how it it works. So we have to create S3 uh, bucket for this. So I'll go on and create S3 bucket with this command. The bucket name is Sam Lambda S3. 
the bucket is created so let's go and uh, i have console open on my browser i'll refresh it and i'll see this bucket created with nothing inside so i'll go on run the next command this next uh, next, next command sorry let me wrap this for you guys to see so basically this next command is to pack uh, create a package of our uh, resources um so in this command we have to actually provide the uh, bucket name then we have to provide the template for our sam uh, or package and then we have to provide uh, the output template file as in where it is going to print uh, uh, output the package or package name it has created on s3 so all this information uh, where it is going to print print so we have to provide the file name for uh, printing this or storing this uh, output so for this i'll be using gen or general folder or sorry generated folder so for this i'll create folder called gen i'll check it yes it is there so i'll go on and create a package of our template and push it to s3 so it has created a package and it is also telling us what next command we should use to deploy the code onto uh, cloud formations so <clears throat> let me go and check yes the package has been created on this direct uh, bucket so let's go on and check what it has created uh what it has created inside this general folder so yes it is pointing to the uh bucket with the file name of uh, my package so this is done the coming on to the next command the next command is to simply deploy whatever the package we have created from the above command these two command commands we can run with sam uh, package simple command and this command we can also run it with sam deploy command so i'll go on use this command for this demo and uh, inside this command we are actually telling which what uh, our template generated file to use uh, specifying which package to pick from s3 and the name of the stack to create so i'll go with hello world sam and then uh, capabilities as in let's go on and run this without capability and let me show you what this particular option does so it is telling me so obviously when creating any any uh, for example lambda function we have lambda function would be creating a, an im role so for this we have to pass on this capabilities that uh, this particular template has the capability of create or uh, or credibility of creating im role so for this we have to provide this option i'll go on and paste this waiting for the chain set to be created so let's wait for a while let me see it is taking some time so let me yeah it is done so let's go and check what it has done so i'll go to my cloud formation first uh, what all this last command has pushed on to so it has created a stack with this name what the, whatever the name we have provided and going on to this event section so we can see what all events has happened uh, when we push the or deployed the package from this command and then uh, let's go to the cloud uh, lambda function which we wanted to create from sam template so it has created this lambda function so let's go on and test it
if you guys see this is the same code which we use in the app dot app dot file so i've created a test statement i'll test it so it is working fine so let's go on and study about how we can create apis and create uh, trigger lambda function from api through sam template so uh, if you guys remember we can again cop use the <laughs> command or template we which we've got from sam in it command so I'll, or if you guys want you guys can check out the code from this url github url so you guys can check out the code so i'll be using this function uh, this section for creating my apis so this section is to create uh, an api hello world uh, which is accessible on this path and uh, for uh, with get method so that's all we need i'll save it I'll, and i'll again go to my my commands first i'll create a package and then deploy that package for this particular uh, section i'll go on and use sam package command to show you guys how that uh, command works so i'll go on use sam package and we'll use everything as sorry I have to add a space here as it was so it has basically created the new uh, url for my package inside my s3 bucket so let me go and check if it is there or not yes it is there it has pushed the new package to s3 now let's go on run the second command uh, we can we can use this section to deploy our code and stack name would be sam i'll keep the same stack or we can have the different stack uh, it is it is uh, better because it is showing is showing us what it is doing okay it is telling us that something didn't work because let's go on what what went wrong okay again we did not provide the capability option so for that let's copy this and provide this option again and run it again so it is creating the chain set for us So you guys can see uh, it is basically showing us what all events it is running the cloud formation is running for for creating the lambda function and api so i'll go to lambda function again and see 24 so if you, you guys can see it has updated something 28 seconds ago and i'll test it it is working and i'll go to my api It has created an API. I'll go on to this API and test it if it is working or not. And it is working. So that's how we created an API and Lambda function and triggered that uh, Lambda function with the API with this simple 16 line of code. So that's all about uh, Sam. But uh, let me show you one more command, which is to delete the stack so we do not need to go to the control we can delete the stack directly from this um, command or cli so i'll go on see what it is doing uh, on my console so i'll go on to cloud formation 
and you can see the status is delete in progress so this simple command now will delete everything all the resources we have created so far so that's all about sam i hope uh, it is helpful thank you